we're walking toward energy, uh, universe of energy, Ellen's energy and adventure to see it for what may be the last time. Uh, because rumors have it, Guardians of the Galaxy is going to come here. So why don't they put it over there where there's nothing? It's what I said. So here's a look at the area. Still one of the classic uh, Epcot attractions. That wouldn't be nice, but then it wouldn't be nice for me to do that to you. How did I get in your car anyway? Can you? Did you lock the car? Maybe it was your fault. Maybe I'm just teaching you a lesson. But the point is, to see me here as a spokesperson for the universe of energy, I mean, that's crazy, you know. I mean, I'm an expert on a lot of things. You know that. I know that. But uh, not a lot of things. A few things. But energy, I mean, there was a time I could care less about it. And then suddenly everything changed. One day I was sitting in my apartment, I, I said I was sitting in my apartment when, there it is, I don't feel some snacks, but she, I mean, I can't hear it. Hey, hey, you, how about sharing some of those chips? No, they're on the diet. Me, not you. Anyway, I'm watching TV and my favorite show is about to start. This is Jeopardy! Yes! I told you it was my favorite show. And of course, no one locks their doors in New York. Hey, it's your neighbor, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Hey, Bill Nye the Science Guy, it's Ellen the, uh... And, uh... Just Ellen, I guess, what can I do you for? I'd like to borrow some aluminum foil, a clothes pin and a candle. Another hot day, huh? Actually, I'm working on an experiment. Ah, uh, take whatever you need, I don't want to miss another day. What are you watching? Jeffrey. Yes. Oh my gosh! What? It's my old college roommate, Judy Peterson. She was such a smarty pants, know it all. I had the best nickname for her, though. What was that? Stupid Judy. No, well, that makes no sense. She has a PhD. I know, but it made me feel better. So now I guess she's some hotshot energetic professor. She's a professor of energy. Whatever. Who cares about stupid Judy or stupid energy? Ellen, energy's the most important thing in the universe. Oh, yeah, sure. Take her side. I'm not taking her side, it's just that without energy, nothing would go, nothing would happen. I mean, there'd be nothing. Well, we would really be in jeopardy now, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what is, uh, thanks for the supplies, and uh, see you later. What is, bye-bye. It's the Parliament of Israel. What is the Right again. Go. Right again, Judy. You can go stand up there. They're energy. gonna make you anyway. So. <laughs> the universe needs energy, but I don't. I'll take a nap for a hundred. <laughs> I know. Big piece of corn right there in the tea. How could you not see? We have to play that. Now, as most of you know, when someone falls asleep watching TV, that person is going to have a what? Dream. Anyone? Daydream. Anyone? Daydream. Right, ma'am, a dream sequence. Right. Mine was more of a nightmare, actually. And uh, was, actually, we should get some fog in here. Always nice to spice up a dream sequence with fog. No, not in here. Over there. Dream. you in the game. Here are the categories for the first round of play. Solar energy, wind power, energy from water, fossil fuels, 
fusion, and finally, gas. Ellen, since this is your dream, we'll let you make the first selection. All right, Alex. Uh, I would take um, my, 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 uh, fossil fuels for, uh, oh, let's go for 100. Fine, the answer is, this was formed from microscopic plants and animals trapped in ocean floor sediments millions of years ago. Ellen? Yes, I know that one. That's, uh, that uh, is, uh, what, what is, what is uh, the stuff trap, microscopic fuels and, and plants and, and animals and... and uh, Sorry, Ellen, we were looking for something more than just an embellishment of what I had already said. What is petroleum, Alex? What is bituminous? What is solar thermal conversion? What is hydroelectric? What is helium? your problem because you're late and you think about that next time. Move all the way up that yellow line that goes on towards it. Go that ramp to the tram. Deténse alejado de las puertas del vehículo y no cambien de fila. Why is it so dark? Because there's nothing to see. Let me get this straight. You brought me back billions of years so you could show me nothing? Sort of. But, but out of this nothingness, many scientists believe the universe was born. Must have been a big delivery room, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, see that single point of very hot, very dense matter? It contains all the energy of the universe. And it's about to expand at an astonishing rate. <laughs> oh, oh, here. Better put these on. Hearing protectors. Because it's the Big Bang. The Piggy Bang? No, the Big Bang. The Big Bang? The Big Bang. Oh. <laughs> Now what you're about to witness took place over billions of years. Oh boy. Uh, better take cover. All right, universe, you clear for takeoff. Come on. <laughs> Go.
Here we are, 220 million years in the Earth's past, give or take a uh, day. Bill? Bill, I, I know I asked you to help me with this energy stuff and everything, but I was kind of hoping you'd show me a slideshow. A slideshow? I guess that'd be easier, but <laughs> this is way more fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is fun. Where's the energy? Oh, it's all around you. See, these plants and animals are soaking up energy from the sun. When they die and get buried, time, pressure, and heat will cook them into the fossil fuels we rely on today. Like our coal, natural gas, and oil. Wait a minute, you're telling me that we're filling our gas tanks with, well, with dinosaur soup? Well, not exactly, but dinosaurs did live when fossil fuels were developing in the earth. <laughs> dinosaurs are just cool. Let's check them out. Why don't we just skip to the air conditioning and jacuzzi period, huh? Ellen, it's a chance of a lifetime. It's the chance of a hundred million lifetimes. Come on. You go ahead and make sure it's safe. I'll wait here, okay? You might as well go too. This is my nightmare. No need you staying with me. Maybe I'll go. There's sure to be more comet coverage coming up. KMRG News Time, 55 million BC. Bill? Bill, Bill, Bill? Oh, Bill, Bill. Ellen? Oh, there you are. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, it's not like I don't like getting attacked by a snake like creature. It's Shh. just. See, we're at the dawn of the human age, and one of our ancestors is about to make an important discovery. One that will spark the progress of civilization. Let's hope it's deodorant.
You can just drop me back in Jeopardy. I think I'm ready to get back to the game and kick Judy's big but old... wait! To play the game, you have to know where energy comes from. You have to know where it's going to come from and how to use it more wisely. See, this is a really big story. resource. What is rain? Correct. <clears throat> so we just uh, build more dams and our energy problems are solved. Not quite. We've already used many of the best sites. And sometimes building a dam can be pretty hard on an ecosystem. Seems like there are pros and cons to every one of these. What gives? Well, Ellen, there are no easy answers. The sun, water, geothermal steam, even wood all contribute. Right now, these renewables provide about 10% of the world's energy. But we can expect them to be playing an even bigger role in the decades ahead. That's great, Bill, but we still need a heck of a lot more energy. Where is it coming from? And do you have a curling iron? Come on, I'll show you. Let's hitch a ride with the solid fossil fuel. Oh, I know this one. What is coal? Correct. And we've discovered two centuries worth. Whoa. What about global warming? It's a hot topic with lots of questions. But it's one of the big reasons scientists are working on ways to burn fuels like coal more efficiently than ever. Ellen, what do you know about gas? Well, if your stomach's bothering you, I can get you some club soda. So, Ellen, how long have you been driving? <laughs> well, sorry, pal. All righty, what's next? Oh, oh, what is black gold, Texas tea, swimming pools, movie stars? What is the Beverly Hillbillies? I, I mean, what is oil? Right. It's our main source of energy, and we found enough to last at least 50 years. That's all? We're far from running on empty. We've got some pretty far-out ways of finding more. I think we have a problem. That's because many of the easily reached petroleum deposits have already been tapped. Hello? Most new discoveries will come from once inaccessible or hard-to-reach places. Just a minute, there's oil here. Actually, the oil is buried way deep under the ocean floor. Oh, well, then I guess we can't get to it. So, where to next? Oh, hey, don't give up. We can reach the oil with offshore drilling platforms like this. We're going in. Dive! Bill? Dive! Bill? Dive! Bill? And, and I was in the bathroom. There are no more paper towels. Yeah, that's right. Could we get out of the set, please? You've been absolutely amazing so far. Blowing away the opponents here. <laughs> well, my IQ is too tender. But I'll tell you something, Judy. The thing that really amazed me was that you and Ellen were in the same class yes. at school. We were actually roommates. I used to call her stupid Ellen. <laughs> okay. All right, players, we're ready to begin the second round. And Ellen, would you start us off by making a selection, please? I sure will, Alex. I will take dinosaurs for 800. Uh, Ellen, you do know that the more expensive the question, the harder it is. Oh, no, I didn't. Let me rethink that then. Uh, dinosaurs for 1,000, Alex. Okay, the answer is, this is when scientists believe dinosaurs first appeared on the Earth. Ellen. Uh, what is 220 million years ago, give or take a day? What is hydrogen, Alex? What are photovoltaics? What is fire? Which, by the way, is what sparked the progress of human civilization. Alex, I don't know if you knew that or not. 
correct again. And amazingly enough, at the end of this double jeopardy round, you have managed to come from way behind to tie Judy for the lead. Well done. Well, I just have to figure out how to work this little clicky thing here. How could she have possibly learned so much during the commercial break? She's obviously cheating. Sip it, Judy. Dr. Einstein. You have no money, sir, and that means we're going to have to say goodbye. However, we want to thank you for coming here today, and we do have some lovely parting gifts for you backstage. Yep, here's a parting gift for you right now, Al. It's a long-lasting, low-energy light bulb. Enjoy the efficiency. Boy, there goes a real bundle of energy, huh? All right, ladies. You will recall that our final Jeopardy category on today's program is the future of energy. And so if you're ready, here is the final Jeopardy answer for you. This is the one source of power that will never run out. Good luck. players let's see how well you did judy we'll start with you you wrote down nothing that's correct alex because there is no answer well actually you're wrong let's take a look at your wager oh that's too bad you risk everything you had and that means you lose seventeen thousand eight hundred dollars and you wind up with nothing Let's go down to Ellen now and see what she came up with as a response to our final Jeopardy clue. Ellen? Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You too risk everything, but you double your score to 35,600, and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as Jeopardy Dream Sequence Week continues. I became an energy expert. Again, expert may not be the exact right word, more expert-ish. Anyway, I've got to go. Look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> Kidding. I'm a kidder. Bye-bye now.